I'm Missy. And I'm Mike. And we're, we're the, the Campaholics. Campaholics. Hey folks, we're going to give you a tour of our 2019 Grand Design Reflection 315 RLTS. We'll start here with the outside and then we'll carry on our, on into the inside. Now here you got your hitch. We do have a anti-sway bar attachment hooked up to this one. But you do have a power up and down switch here. I got my black pole up. You got your reflection V lit up LED lights on the front of it, pretty sharp at nighttime. Come down the side here as the fire trucks go by. You have these slammed glass doors, you have a nice storage area. We have a lot of stuff in there. Pass through, pass through storage. It's about 18 and three quarter inches high. You have a motion light there, it just came on as I moved my hand, and it's approximately almost three foot wide. Nice thick heavy doors, slam latches, magnetic contacts that holds the door up. There's your slam latch, nice and secure. Coming down the side, you have your Dometic awnings, retractable awnings. Your outdoor speakers with the blue lights in them, your mood blue lights. And of course, your uh, light strip on your awnings. Now that is bright. It does not uh, dim. However, some I've seen some people put dimmer switches on them. They're very, very bright. Like it's almost too bright. It's good for when you're leaving the campsite, but nice friction, heavy door. Friction hinge. With the friction hinges. Yep. Nice and thick door. We put our RV keyless lock on this one. No big deal to do that. It's about a 15 minute job. But the door slams nice and tight. No issues with the door. It still comes with a latch. And we do use that. Here's your fold up steps. It's got a blue light underneath for nighttime. But your steps just simply fold up. And then pull right here. Get them down. Come down the, uh, the slide. This is the dining room slide. What I love is the fact that the awning is attached to the slide, not over the slide, and you have all this space underneath of the awning to utilize. One of the big key features I like about this unit. Some units will have the uh, awning over the Also, you can adjust these, adjust the pitch. So if you got a light rain, you can have your rain run off, or if you want more of an um, angle to them, the black out sunlight, you can do that. So a nice feature of these. Coming down in the back or is a rack and pinion slide. It does have a ladder to check your roof. Always check your slides before you pull them in. I always go up there with my DeWalt leaf blower and blow the slides off, regardless of the conditions i'm always going up there checking those slides before we bring them in lots of windows lots of windows yes lots of windows on the back here we have a 300 pound capacity uh hitch so we went ahead and hooked up our bikes so this works really well up top there is your furion furion uh, backup camera we also opted to buy the the better one where monitor you monitors while you're running running down the road coming over on the kitchen slide and the entertainment center slide here's your retractable and ex extendable power equalizer jacks retract and these are made by Lippert and extend you just want to get those snug all right folks coming down this side here in the entertainment center to your kitchen area that's your refrigerator you're coming over here to the furnace that's a 40,000 BTU furnace 
That's your furnace exhaust. Of course, your 50 amp hookup. You have your six gallon hot water heater, and it does have a back uh, propane backup to that, so it will heat a lot faster. So two people can shower comfortably, pretty much back to back. Uh, they can use that. This is your bedroom slide. It's a Schwintex system. Not a rack and pinion. It's a smaller slide, so you can get away with that. Down here are your gray, black, and gray tank pools. Your black water capacity is 43 gallons. Your gray water capacity is 118 gallons. That also includes the uh, gray water for your uh, washer and dryer. All right. You have your Westlake Super ST tires. Never had an issue with these things. Uh, they weren't great. Make sure you just keep them inflated. Uh, don't run over 65, and you should be fine. The underneath part of it is your rack opinion again slide again. There's your propane in the back to service the uh, the stove top. These are Dexter axles. The springs have wet bolts, so you do need to grease the wet bolts for your springs. Coming over here, this is where I keep all my hookups in this nice little bay right here. This great little bay. I have my electrical hookups, my water hookups, and my tank hookups. All in storage units right in there and now you can see that picture of uh the, the layouts of those boxes on our instagram page the campaholics instagram page so that looks uh to give you an idea of how we go now I apologize for the uh, dirty unit but my god it has not stopped raining here for, in the, on delmarva for weeks every weekend we're getting rain so finally we get a sunny day to get outside coming up here to your data plate It is rated, this particular unit, weighed in at 9,620 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight is 10,995 pounds. You cannot exceed 1,315 pounds of cargo. There's your front stabilizer jacks again. Coming up to your wet bay. Wet bay, you have your cable hook up in there. You have your outdoor shower right here. Nice, easy to follow directions on this Nautilus system for hooking up your water connections. City water, dry camping, power fill of the tank, winterizing, great way, great easy instructions on winterizing this unit. Simple to do. Takes about 15 minutes. Got your cables hooked up here for your cable TV. Again, you have a motion sensor light up there. And then your other side of your pass-through storage. Here's your gray tank for your um, washer and dryer hookup. So you would dump this for your, for your washer discharge. Slam latch again. Your Furion solar charge hookup. Trickle charge your batteries or what ha have you for uh, hooking up. It's pre-wired for uh, uh, solar. All right, so that's the outside of the uh, Grand Design Reflection 315 RLTS. We'll take you for a little walk inside. Come on in. I guess we'll start back here. So this is, I guess it's rear living. We like this coach. This is like a couple's coach. So you've got your, we'll start back here, I guess the theater seating, cup holders, has the heat and the massage and the lights, and it has a lock so that you can actually leave them on and off. Yes. Okay. So we got theater seating right across from the TV, which of course, we still like to watch baseball games when we go camping, and this is good for just us. Has heat, massage, they recline. They're not electric, but they they pull the pull thing. They recline. 
So and you can go all the way back with them. This is a um, pull, full size pull out couch. Been told it's not super comfortable. So we did buy a mattress pad to go on top of it, but you kind of, you angle backwards for some reason. I don't know why, but it comes out to about here. So you can still walk around. Um, all kinds of overhead storage right now. Like I said, I stuffed the pillows and all the lamps and stuff up there when we travel. Games, beer pong, um, extra blankets, pull down shades. They say that they're night shades, but they're not really very dark. But they do keep the sun out during the day. But we like to push them up when we're camping. All of these windows actually open too, so they have screens, so you can get a good cross breeze if you don't need to use your AC. Um, lots of storage down here in these. I put all the and there's um two outlets so we use these little lamps for mood lighting um moving over here the entertainment center this this rig came with this tv um and it does swivel back and forth uh your furion bluetooth and uh zone system for outside and you can do we can do the surround sound in here uh, we charge all of our stuff there's like there's outlets up there so we charge all of our ipads the wi-fi all that stuff up there lots of storage drawers pretty good size storage um comes with uh i don't know how many amps this is or watts fireplace i don't know either okay i'm just <laughs> just asking in case somebody um, but you can turn it on for, for heat or just looks. Um, we use this a lot, right? Would you say? Yeah. A lot more than the, having to turn the furnace on because then you don't have to waste your gas. And it heats the rig up pretty good. Um, moving into the kitchen, I got a full size island, um, lots of storage, outlets on the end, good for toast. This, um, I, it does have sink covers and they're heavy. The, um, it has a full one size sink. I personally like the split sink. But when we travel, we just put everything in here, put the covers on, and they don't slide around. When we get to a campsite, we take them off. I sit the, the, the strainer up. But I thought I'd show you for touring purposes. You know, it has the whole cloud sink. You can use this for a cutting space when we're having company over cheese and crackers and stuff. Um, great big pantry that has motion lighting. And it's got pretty good storage in it. We store the coffee pot in there when we get ready to travel. Um, these fit in there on the side nice when we're, once we get to the campsite. Motion light. Motion light. Um, I don't think it gets kind of crowded and junky, so you don't really, can't see stuff up there, but you have plenty of space. Got pots and pans. I've got extra liquor of course in there and paper towels and so yeah so stove full it's a really big size stove it's kind of dirty um three burners this just folds up and then you've got the three furion burners use the main one use the front one a lot i don't ever put anything on this i don't, I don't slice or anything on it but it says it's safety glass. Convection and microwave. I am just now starting to learn how to use that. But we baked a couple cakes in there. And what else did I do in there? Oh, some mac and cheese. I baked some mac and cheese in there. So it works really good. I'm still, like I said, still learning it. Lots of, lots of space on the sides. Got a underneath for pots and pans. Keep I keep all of ours on this side here. They fit pretty good in there outlets there's an extra outlet up there with a the microwave storage on this side where we keep our trash can of the island and all the cleaning supplies and the dog treats all that crap fridge Dometic I like the I like the double we don't make ice in ours just because the guys from Grand Design told us that's why you get so much buildup. So we either buy bagged ice or keep it out in the cooler. But we've had, we defrosted it, what, once last year? Once. Yeah. 
but it holds a lot. I mean, it holds it holds a good amount of stuff, and I don't. It has these flip ups, so you don't have to use those tension bars if you don't want when you're traveling to kind of keep things in place. I've never had anything any issues with anything when we've been traveling, and it just it, it doesn't. You don't have to push anything. These actually, and you don't have to lock it when you travel. It is propane or ga um, or electric, right? Yes. Yep. So propane we use, backup. Propane backup, yes. It all, automatically switches over from electric to propane when the power goes out. Yeah. Or you unplug for travel. Yeah. So we keep our cups and plates, beer koozies up here, and honestly, nothing moves around when we travel. I haven't had any issues with anything. These are that plastic stuff, but the plates are, are glass and they don't they don't move around. Um we use this as our coffee kind of dump station. Um, air conditioning, the power, max air fan, which is really nice because we use it for when we cook in the morning. Max air fan. Turn it on. And it has like four speeds. And it's rain sensor, so you don't have to, if you leave it on during the day, it will shut off. We've actually had that. Um had that happen to us when we've left. That's four speeds. Skylight over the bar, or over the sink, rather. Yep, of course, in the air conditioner. You know, I didn't think about that. But. LED lighting in the ceiling. And then, of course, there's the puck lights over the dining room table, and then over the theater seating, and over the couch, too. There's a switch for the couch. So you have plenty of lighting in here. If you want it to be. Colbin mock air conditioning units, we have two. One up here and then one in the bedroom. Now, the one in the bedroom was not standard. We actually just had that put in this season before we hit the road because a lot of the places that we go around here are open parking lots, is what I like to call them. So yeah, no trees. No trees, no shade. Uh, because we're still weekenders and a couple weeks during the summer, we stay close to home within a couple hours so most of them are either new or just don't have good shaded area um one feature she likes about the grand design oh yes I forgot. is no floor registers correct and we usually have a dog with us and he's not today so i know what kind of dog hair i sweep up i can't imagine what would fall into the vents and sand so there's nothing in the floor to catch your toes on not i can walk around barefoot nothing I did put these extra bumpers on this to keep from when I vacuumed to knock in the finish off of this. Um, junk drawers, but they're pretty deep junk drawers. I mean, that's um, USB, air conditioner. Oh, dining room table we kind of skipped over. We, it does come with four chairs. We folded two of them up and put them in the bedroom. I, it will be, I like the fact that Grand Design now doesn't do this center leg because this makes a big difference when you're getting in and out and it's just the two of us. I will say though, that you take that chair out, the dog crate slides perfect right in there. So if you have a dog and he's a boxer, so he's a pretty good sized dog, you can get it up out of the way, but, and they have the storage underneath. Typical, um, but the table's nice. We use it. It doesn't, it doesn't, it has a little drawer, which is where we keep all of the manuals for the camper and anything pertaining that we need to quickly access. I wish it did have the fold up. It would be nice just for an extra little extra space. Um, the awning, the awning button for this dining room slide is here. It's separate from everything else for some reason. Um... We added, so we changed out the speakers in here and put a little better sound system because what came was not too great. Just paper speakers, five watt speakers. speakers. And we added an extra, uh, what's this thing called? Smoke detector. An extra smoke detector in here. Um, that's probably it as far as any big changes that we did in here. Nothing major. What sold us on the grand design is when I actually walked in, the one for the first time was. The woodwork, the craftsmanship, the uh, solid wood doors. Yeah. 
uh, the slides and how they built the slides. Residential. It looks more residential. Yeah. I think the newer ones now are, are, are um, hiding the hinges, which these still show. But I think I've seen that now some of them are doing the hidden hinge. Um, and I like that the color is kind of neutral. It's, it's not super dark. The furniture is dark, but I don't feel like it's dark in here. All right, on to the, uh, well, there's the control panel. The control panel is here. At least it is behind the door, so it's nice. You don't have to see it. But all of our gray tanks and black tanks, the awning for the, the main awning, main awning is, is here. Um, all the slide controls, all of our lights, our awning lights, water pumps, gas, electric. Um, and what's nice is you can get to this when the slides are in. You can get to this. You can still get to the fridge when the slides are in. You can push them out just a little bit to make sure nothing's behind your slides. So it's pretty easy to, if you forget to turn your water pump off or something, after you've pulled your slides in, you can still just open the door and, yeah, pop in there. And when you're traveling, you can get to the bathroom, you can get to the bed, and you can, and you get, can get to the fridge when the slides are in. Yep. So all three points of... Main, point, main yeah. points that you need to get to are accessible when the slides are in. You only can get to one side of the fridge because I think the other pretty one much when they yeah. come in, they come right to this. The other one will open partially. Yeah. We roll the rugs up and they fit perfectly on the floor right in front of, on the side of the island. So, and that's about it with that. Okay. So, on to the bathroom. So, standard size. I mean, I feel like it's a normal size bathroom, full size shower. It doesn't have the seat in it, um, but it's. I mean, he can fit in here. You're five eleven. Yeah, plenty no of room. No problem. Uh, and we did upgrade the shower head. We did do that in here. Um, it came with us towel bars. We just had to install the toilet paper holder. It was here. We just. I guess they want you to that's where you want to put it. I've seen people put it inside the cabinet, but it works there for us. We don't get in and out of the shower on this side. We use this side. Again, no floor register. There's floor your register, heat duct. There's your heat and your AC. And this has a fan, a power fan, but it's not a max air. It has a switch here, but you got to reach up there to open it, which I can't do. So we have a little step stool. Um, and this just locks back when you're traveling just locks back like that and we're good to go and it's easy to clean I do use what they recommend it's either 409 or I think it's spick and span is the other one I do only use that to clean with it but it works pretty good like I said we only upgraded that and we did upgrade this because the spigot that came was like real low you couldn't even get your hands under because this is a kind of a small sink so we did upgrade that for like what 20 bucks Thing. No, that's a Kohler product, so that was about sixty dollars. Oh shit! Okay, sorry. Oh, beep. Just can't beep. say that. <laughs> um, but good size medicine cabinet. This is where stuff will go crazy when we travel. When I open this, I lose. I mean, I always forget. Stuff falls everywhere when I open the cabinet. Word to the wise: This is not a solid surface. This has. Come here, let me show you the little bit. This has like a coating on it. And when he was changing this, he was holding onto this with his left hand and his wedding band. As I was working underneath As it. As he was working, kind of scraped off the film. So if you had, if you still use curling irons or hot irons, they would probably melt this. So um, I just set that there. Nobody knows anything. You really can't see it, it kind of blends in. Good size drawers. Um, we keep the trash can underneath there, extra toilet paper, my makeup basket. And then in here we have mirrors. Man, I should have cleaned those. Those are really dirty. Um, we keep all of our towels. Oops. <laughs> we keep all of our towels up there. We have one, two, three. It holds six big bath towels and hand towels and a couple beach towels. So it's good storage. And then, of course, we have the two hanging here. Um, this is a pocket, so it's just like this. Really strong magnet really strong magnet and then when you're traveling it just hooks back like this and keeps it from banging and banging okay onto the bedroom we did install this just last weekend 
because we had no place to hang coats. And this works pretty good. Nobody hits it and nobody's walking this way. We debated on which side to put it on, so. One feature I like, this is padded. So I don't hit my head when I walk out. Or if, when I do, it's not, it's not as brutal. Do you hit your head? Yeah, I can hit my head. Oh, I think oh. they're all padded. Oh, and this light here above you is motion censored. So when you come in the coach, it'll come on. And there's also one in the bathroom that's motion censored. So we leave that on at night so that we don't have to turn on the lights. They come on automatically. Right. I want to smell somebody's started some charcoal. There's the trim work up top. Again, that's all wood trim. Your cove molding up there in the ceiling. That's nice. All right. So is the bedroom. This is the favorite part for more than one reason. <laughs> um, hey now, hey now. Hey now, hey now. So this is a full size residential queen bed. It may look short because we have a lots of pillows, but it is a full size queen bed. You can get king, but you'll lose your little end tables. And we have a king at home, but we make out really good with this one. I'm surprised. I didn't think we would, but it's a very comfortable bed. We did not upgrade the mattress, but we did put a nice big mattress egg crate on it, and it it seems to do well. Um, storage over the bed. We keep extra pillows and sheets, sheets for the uh, pull out out there, so we don't access this too much because it really isn't convenient. Um, so this was a skylight. Then of course we put it was already the, the rig when we bought it was pre-wired for the AC, so all I had to do was drop that in. So that was an upgrade, and then we also put an additional smoke detector. Smoke detector because only there's a carbon monoxide back here. We didn't know that. We thought it was both, and until we started inspecting, we realized there was no smoke detector back here. Um, same thing, pull down shades. I threw these little curtains over this with a tension rod to help because this we like to sleep in the dark, dark. Um, so we did that. Um, bed has stay on the bed has storage as you can see the extra chairs the dog bed the dog crate is under there you can't see it this is all of our outside like um candles and stuff i flag coals which we got to get those out are all underneath there so this is good storage this oh then the bed stays up by itself so i'm sure we could probably utilize it in a better way but so over here is robe and it has motion lighting too there you go so and I installed some command hooks to give them some extra space, but it goes way back. It's way deep. We, like I said, we're still only weekenders. So we, so full time in, I'm sure it would be a lot fuller. Um, nice deep drawers. We use this middle drawer for his CPAP machine because there's a outlet right there. So it doesn't have, it doesn't get in the way. We don't, it doesn't matter. We don't have a side table. Um, there's a heat vent there, another heat vent, um, and that's how we kind of roll with that. Um, this slide, this bed is in a slide, so this comes all the way to that dresser when it comes in, so you can sleep with this slide in, which we've done several times with storms, because it is very loud. Sleeping in a slide with a storm. It's, yeah, the rain pel pelting on the would roof. Sound, it, would be, it would be relaxing. It is not relaxing. It's like hearing BBs hit the ceiling. Yes. So our next rig, we will have a north-south bed. I've already made that decision. Just so you know. Um, full dresser here. So we each have, um, you know, drawers. Pretty good space. Um, they're, they're not huge, but they hold shorts and t-shirts and socks and undies. Um, we have space up here. So where he kind of throws his hats. Um, this rig did not come with a TV, so we put this small one. We probably could have gone bigger, but we weren't sure. Well, of course, when we are at the store. There's a TV backer. Yeah, there's a TV backer there, so that's where it's supposed to go. Um, we installed our NOAA weather radio back here, and we have, the last two weeks, have had nothing but tornado warnings left and right for Delaware, which is crazy, and in Maryland where we were, and this was very accurate and it's very loud um if you get if you can get one and it's battery backup but we have there's a plug up here of course so we have the tv and that plugged in um 
We wanted to keep it in the bedroom so if we were sleeping, we could hear it. Um, this same. This is an emergency exit window. Oh, we got to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> we have to edit that out. Beep. Take two. Okay, ready? This is an emergency exit window. Um, but as you can see, a lot of sun comes in that. So we we keep this shade pulled. My little, my little fake plants are really having a struggle here. Um, so here's the best feature ever. So we have mirrors. These are little barn doors, I guess you'd call them. But this closet is massive. Um, dumb thing that Grand Design doesn't do is they put motion sensor lights in every room but this. So you have to reach up to get this. And this is so silly. I think that would, why not make that motion? But anyway, so this is super deep on both sides. It is washer dryer prepped. One washer go on one side, dryer go on the other. And so you would lose all of this shelving. But there's outlets and water spigots back there and outlets and water spigots back there. Um, but it is very big. This is where we kind of throw everything this is pretty much how it is when we're camping. We, we have it like this. Um, coats and shirts. Um, back there is for shoes and sweatshirts and extra jeans. Stuff that won't fit in those um, drawers. We have the underbelly. And we throw the hamper in there so it's not in the way. But this space is very nice and very big. Um, when we had the tornado warnings we pulled the bed in we put the dog bed in here he slept in here actually <laughs> mm -hmm. and so it's i mean you can lay in there you could set your dog crate up you could put a if you had a crib i guess i mean i don't know if that's we could put something in there um i don't know what these straps are for i guess you would i don't know somehow mount the door open if you i guess wanted to keep them back uh, we never used that i don't know what it's for so but now this is nice and this is a good catch-all um we have our extra space heater in there we have i mean the vacuum cleaner the mops are in there extra beers in there it's really nice this is this was a big 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 selling point for us um outlets on the side of this so you and there's outlets and usb ports down here by the bed so plenty, plenty, there's two outlets and two USBs, an outlet, an outlet. Um, no USBs on this side though, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. Um, um, I guess that is solid doors. They're, they close. Um, there's no space up top, which is nice because in most of the units you see they put a gap at the top of the door for light to come in. Um, we don't usually sleep with the door closed anyway, so it doesn't matter for us. Um, oh, our antenna is back here for the TV. Mm, I think. But you actually can get dressed in here. Two people can get dressed in here. You can sit on the bed, put your shoes on, put your socks on. Um, you can get dressed in here. And people don't have to come through your bedroom to go to the bathroom. The bathroom is right there at the door. So... And, you know, jump out of the shower and jump in here real quick. It's it's nice. I don't know. I it's gonna be hard to find something that's um beatable when we decide to hit the road full time. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, folks. That's the tour of the uh, interior of the Grand super Design. G. Yeah, G. we call we call our Super G. Yeah. This is the uh, tour of the interior of the Grand Design Reflection 315 RLTS. We hope you enjoy the tour. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. Ring the bell for updates. And we will. No, remember. Oh. Every day. Every day is once, once in a lifetime. lifetime. That's right. Every day is once in a lifetime. All right, folks. Talk to you later.